Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you parallel transient splitting in Reaper. Now the concept of parallel transient splitting is we could split our drums or any percussive elements onto multiple tracks and treat them separately based on their attack or sustain. So I have a project in front of me here with some MIDI drums and I'm busting the outputs to tracks down here for my kick, snare, overheads, and rooms. Let's hear what it sounds like now. It sounds pretty good right now, but I want more control over the attack and sustain over each drum, or each drum sound. So let's start off with the snare. Let's hear it in solo. Now we'll go to the track effects on the snare, and let's search Transient. And we'll find a plugin right here called Transient Controller. This will allow us to control the transients separately for the attack and sustain. Double click it, and it looks like this. And it's just on the snare, so I can control the attack and sustain separately. Right now it sounds like this. Let's bring down the sustain, and now it sounds like this. It's just mostly attack. Now we could bring up the attack to get even more of the transient of the snare, like this. We don't want to go too far, which can make it sound a bit weird. Right about there feels good, as the sound is mostly attack. Before, and after. So now, we're gonna duplicate this track and do the opposite. Let's rename it Snare A for attack, and then duplicate it, right click, Duplicate tracks, and name this one Snare S for sustain. And let's hear this one in solo. It's already set from before. Let's put it back and bring down the attack completely. Then we can bring up the sustain. Don't worry if it sounds too weird, as we're gonna blend it back in with the other snare track. So now let's hear this in the mixer. Here's our two snare tracks. So it gives us more control to control the attack and sustain separately. So if we want more ring or sustain, we could bring this up a lot more. We'll bring it down for less. Let's hear it before. And after. I think it sounds a lot tighter with more control of the attack and sustain for the snare. Let's do the same thing with the kick. Go to the track effects on the kick, add the same plugin, transient controller, 
with So The Kick. Let's bring down the sustain and bring up the attack. It starts to sound weird for bring it up too much. Right about there feels good. Let's duplicate it. We name this one kick A and kick S. And for the second one, we'll do the opposite. Bring down the attack completely. and bring up the sustain. Sounds a bit weird by itself, but when it's blended in, it's very useful. So let's hear this in the mixer. With the rest of the tracks, I think that gives us more control and some more interesting options when mixing. And then finally, we'll do the room mics. But for this, we could still use the transient controller, but I think it sounds even better with a compressor. So let's duplicate the room track. Let's rename it Smashed. Go to the effects on the track, and we'll type in 1175, which brings up this compressor. Let's hear it in solo. Let's smash it with the compressor. And for this, I really like to squash it by bringing down the release as much as possible. Make the attack a bit shorter as well. And don't worry if it sounds too aggressive, as we're going to blend it back in with the original room mics. So go back to the mixer. Let's hear the original. And blend this one back in. Let's hear it all together. As you can tell, it's pretty dramatic. Let's hear it before. Sounds pretty tame by comparison. And besides making it sound better, we now have more control over the sound, over the size of the room mics, and how much attack and release we have on the kick and snare. So that's pretty much it. That's Parallel Transient Splitting in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.
Bingo, boys, let's go.